My name is Marianta Holloway. Let me follow my script. On behalf of the Academic Staff Steering Committee, or also known as the ASSC, I'd like to welcome you all to the first ASSC event for the 2016-17 academic year. I'm Marianka Holloway. I'm chair this year of the ASSC, and I'll ask the other members of the ASSC this year to please stand and introduce themselves. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I was look, I was waiting at her. Um, my name is Cynthia Merritt. I'm an academic advisor to in um, the departments of African American Studies and Urban Studies and Planning, and I am a member at large. My name is Dawn Meter Miller. I'm in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences Academic Advisor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy, and I'm the secretary. Uh, my name is Shauna Rieger. I'm at the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. I'm an academic services officer here. And we'll oh, I'm a member at large. <laughs> Sarah Doyle, who could not be here today because she's still on maternity leave, um, is our co-chair this year, which means she'll be chair next year. Okay. As you all know, on June 1st of this year, Keith Whitfield was appointed by the Board of Governors as Wayne State's Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. As Wayne State's Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Whitfield is the second ranking executive officer and responsible for all matters related to the instructional mission of the university, student performance and retention, and academic personnel policies and decisions, among other duties, like all of us. Provost Whitfield has kindly agreed to join us today to kick off our annual academic staff welcome and recognition program. He will speak to us briefly, and then, due to time constraints, take about one or two questions from the audience. Please join me now in welcoming Provost Keith Whitfield. Thank you very much. Um, I will be very brief. Uh, well, I'll try to be very brief. <laughs> I don't want to guarantee anything. Um, it is wonderful to be here with you on this rainy day for such a sunshiny event. Um, first, a welcome to those of you who are new. How many people are new? Raise your hand. See, you're supposed to have fresh legs. You're supposed to raise your hand really high. People like barely got their hand here, you know, got to bring a lot of energy to it. Um, I think that what you see around you is that you are joining an extremely strong dimension of our university community. And we welcome you. We want you to be fully engaged. Um, you, in some ways, are part of the front line that actually deals with students, deals with lots of the other kinds of academic issues that we uh, face here at the university. And so um, if we don't say it in a week or in a month or next year, well, maybe I'll come back next year. I have to vote the president to, to be able to come to these. Um, thank you for your service. Um, stay strong. Stay connected. Um, one of the other things that I think that you see is that there's a lot of community here, and that that's critically important to make sure that uh, you bring the kind of sense of community that we want to share with our students, even uh, as many of you all will have already told me and shared with me, we bring it to our faculty and influence our faculty as well. So thank you for the service that you provide there. So for those who are going to get awards, I guess we don't want you necessarily to raise your hands, but, um, you know, recognition of the service that you do is, we can probably only give you a small part of the appreciation that the university has for what you do. Um, different people get it different years, um, but every year what you do is critically important to us. So thank you very much for your service, congratulations, uh, and continue that excellence in service. It's, it's greatly appreciated. So with that, I will stop and see if there are any questions. Well, that was real brief. I had to get you any questions? Not one? Okay. Was everyone, anyone, not able to see the town hall the other day? I see that everybody has this delicious pizza. <laughs> part of the Well, um, it's perfectly fine not to have questions. I always am perfectly comfortable with that awkward silence that we have sometimes. <laughs> but if you need to get a hold of me, you can contact me at provost at wayne.edu. I do check that email um, and share with me thoughts, celebrations, great things, and even some of the bad things, that's okay too. But thank you very much and have a great time with that.
Okay, so now we'd like to welcome all of the new academic staff that joined the university last year. If you would please stand. Oh, wow, great. Tell us who you are and what department you are and what your classification is so we can kind of get to know you. Let's start with you. Hi, all. Uh, my name is Melissa Sweet. I'm over in the Mike Illich School of Business. I'm a graduate advisor. Welcome. Kathy Anderson, um, I work in SDS, Student Disability Services, and I'm an academic services officer. <coughs> Um, I'm Stephanie Hawks, and I'm an academic services officer, service officer too, uh, and I work with uh, students in the Apex Scholars Program as a coordinator for instructional support. I'm Mariah LeGrand. I work over the financial aid office as a financial aid officer. I'm Denise Schmart, and I also work in student affairs with financial aid officer. Is that everyone? Welcome again. <laughs> Okay, now we're ready, I hope, to recognize those academic <coughs> staff that in the last year earned ESS, which is an acronym for Employment Security Status, and or a promotion to a higher rank. So, Cynthia Merritt's going to help me. She's going to call out your name, and if you would come up to the front, give you a certificate and a little gift from the union, shake your hand, get a picture, and that's it. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> so the first name is Teresa. <laughs> Teresa Perlman. Awarding Thank you. 
Next is Cynthia Cathy, promotion to academic <laughs> services officer four. <laughs> By the way, that's as high as you can go in academic services. Congratulations. Mm, for you. Sorry. Uh, Ms. Tracy Castle. Thank you. Okay, Graham, get in there. Here we go. We're good. 
I can't fit you in the picture here. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, 
<laughs> Congratulations to all of our ES. <laughs> okay, so I hope we're all enjoying food. There's plenty. Please help yourself. Um, we're on to just some remarks. I don't know if Michelle, um, I'll let her introduce herself. Uh, she, as you all probably know, ASSC is part of the union. We are a union. ASPDC is, and you'll learn this later in the year, next year when we haven't been on it, um, is Academic Professional Development Staff Committee, and we are going to be, hopefully, all of us will be able to join uh, Provost Whitfield next week for a breakfast offered by the ASPDC. Just wanted to make you aware of that. On your way out, if you didn't get on your way in, I have a just a print out of the website for the ASSC is going to give you all kinds of good resources. So I thought the easiest way for you to see that is just to look. I took a print out of the homepage for the ASSC. Also, a list of the upcoming events for the Academic Staff Steering Committee, as well as your, uh, the Academic Team, the Union Council. They have forums periodically. So those, please uh, save the dates for those events during the year. Glad you could all join us. I'll leave it to Michelle. Um, and I wanted to uh, first of all say that um, President Charles Parrish wanted to be here, but he um, his teaching schedule interfered with his ability to be here. So he sent his congratulations. Um, I just like to say that you know this is what a union is about. It's supporting each other to be successful. It's looking out for each other. Um, it's um, celebrating our successes and making sure that we have each other's backs. And so I think this is a wonderful way to. Um, exemplify that. So um, the union is here, and it's not just in the union office, and we're here whenever you need anything or a call, but it's also out where you work. It means if you see somebody treated unfairly, you do your best to stand up for each other um, where you're at, and that's union too. Um, and so I, and I encourage people who have ESS or have promotion to, um, you know, it's the union contract and the things that we put in there, we fought for, it used to be that academic staff had to get tenure in order to get any job security. And the union negotiated um, at, um, ESS. Um, we wish it was for everybody, um, but if you, you know, some people don't have it because they're on a contract or subsidy. Um, but the promotion applies to everyone. And if you ever need any help, if you ever have any questions, you can call the union office, but hopefully um, you can help each other. And the people who have achieved this can then reach out to folks who are in the process and help them. And, and that's what a union is all about. And that's what we're all about. So we're, I'm very proud to be part of this, proud to be part of you. I was academic staff for 11 years before I started working for the union. And so I'm, you know, this, this group is near and dear to my heart. So thank you all. Congratulations to everyone, and um, keep up the good work. Hi, folks. I'm Mark Dilley, uh, Director of Organizing at the Union, and um, uh, next week will be my one year here, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Um, the two things I want to mention real quickly is one thing that uh, happened when I got here is I wanted to develop sort of a Members going out and talking with other members, and um, and so far this year we've talked to 300 uh, people and had real good 15 minute to half hour, 40 minute conversations. Um, I've done a lot of those myself, but I've also done a lot of those with you, and so I've done about 60 conversations with members, talking to members. So that's been really good. Um, people seem to really appreciate it, that kind of personal contact. So we're going to continue doing that. So you'll get invited to come uh, come with me and, and uh, go out rounding. Uh, the other thing is, you know, we have an election cycle, and so I just wanted to say, for those that are interested in, in helping in any way, we've got voter registration drive that goes until October 10th, and we're also going to be doing some uh, voter information after that. Uh, so please uh, approach me uh, later and uh, let me know that you're interested in doing that. So welcome and, and congratulations to everybody. Thank you. Only because Provost Whitfield, I told him, don't talk too long because we got a lot to get through and he held me to it. Then you guys didn't ask any questions. So. Anyway, again, welcome. Please 
chat among yourselves, grab some more food, but that's really the conclusion of our program for today. Thank you for coming.